Hello guys, today we are going to see how to make Premiere Pro rise faster, edit faster and export faster. Let's go! First, go to Edit, Preferences, then General. Here at the bottom, we are going to turn off these two options, Display Color Management and Extended Dynamic Range. And this may help your computer rise a little faster. Next step, go to Save, then turn on Automatically Save Project. This will help you save some time and some performance for Premiere Pro, but don't forget that you may lost your projects, so don't forget to hit the Ctrl plus S button. The third step is hidden in media section. Here in the bottom, we have to turn on these two options, and this will help Premiere Pro runs and processes the H.264 or 8EVC videos faster. Now go to media cache. From media cache files, choose where you want to put your files, and I suggest you to put them on a solid state drive. The same thing with media cache databases. I suggest you put them on a solid state drive also. From media cache management, choose automatically delete cache files older than 7 days or 10 days like you want. I turn on this because I don't use any cache files after 7 days or 10 days. You can also choose to automatically delete them after they exceed 11 gigabytes or 15 gigabytes. But I will keep with 7 days. Now go to memory. From from here, choose Optimize Rendering for Performance, not Memory, and try to make this number as low as possible. This will give Premiere Pro a lot from your RAM, but at the same time, it will take from other apps, so make sure to close them. That's it for today, guys. In the next video, we will continue outside of References section in order to make Premiere Pro run faster. Thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to watch this video here to learn how to choose your sequence settings in Premiere Pro.